Right, I've received in the post a thug frame. I think it's from Technet. I'll put the description there or the website. Anyway, I can't believe this is actually made in the UK. The quality is superb. I'll show you first. I'll show you these arms. These arms are 5 mil thick. They'll take 6 inch props. If you break them, you've got another problem somewhere with your flying because there's no way you can't. There is no way you're going to break them. No way. So anyway, you've got four of them. This thing, incidentally, it, uh, it comes pre-built. Well, mine did anyway. I don't know if it was just um, didn't have enough time. But I, I think that's a sign of quality, is testing everything, fitting together. Um, I've had some Chinese quads that have come. Um, some of the parts don't fit. But yeah, thumbs up for that one. This is the bottom plate, which is a 3D printed plate. Um, I've got room there for LEDs, which I'm going to put when I can find them. I'm going to put five of them on there. Five there, five there. I've got quite a few of these. Bought a few more. It should be 150 there. Anyway, so the LED is going to go on there. The ESCs, I'm going to uh, try and shoe on into. I don't know what you call this, a chassis of some kind. There is enough room so I can actually piggyback two ESCs in there. They're 30 amp ESCs so they'll actually go into there. Um, so that's that bit. <coughs> Excuse me. So there's that bit. And then that sits up here. No, it doesn't. Sorry, got it wrong. That goes like that. That goes on there. The arms, you can see there's a hole there. And you've also got a hole for your um, for your wires to go through. And then that one sits on the top. Look at that. This is a... This is the only downside of it. It's not, no, it's not a massive downside. The, you get with it a, I think that's about a 20 degree angle for your Mobius or whatever you want to put on there. And it's attached on there, but those holes, they're just too big. Too big for standard mini bobbins, whatever you want to call them. But, you can put these on. These come off a tarot, I think they, um, or off, um, off some form of gimbal, I can't remember. But they fit in there perfectly. So, I'm going to put two of them on the front. And then I've got some anti-vibration dampeners on here. So I'm going to put them on the back. So it's automatically lifted up. Yeah, perfect platform for the GoPro. Um, oh no. so, I'm so impressed with this. I mean, this thing alone, it's just superb. For putting your ASCs in there and getting them out of the way. Brilliant. So, I'm going to start building anyway. Yeah, the other thing I was going to mention is these... Um, I've got some props. These are thug props. Now, they are slightly more flexible than the HQ props, although the carbon reinforced supposedly the same. Um, yeah, and Stefan from um, Doug Frames kindly put a few of these in my bag, which I just wasn't expecting. Right, just one thing to remember, because these arms are actually obviously 5mm long, you'll need some uh, longer than 5mm bolts, like 6mm, 6mm in and off, in and off. Um, 7mm is okay. They're actually M3 bolts that need uh, to go on here. Now I only ever use two, uh, two bolts on every motor, I've never had any problems, never. And I'm actually using 8mm bolts on these, 
and it's literally on borderline. The uh, the stators go up to right up to that line, and the bolts actually they're not touching. But there's about half a millimeter half a millimeter gap. So all the motors are on. Right, the first thing I've had to do is extend the wires to the motors, and they weren't quite long enough, so I routed them all through the supplied holes, which you can't see. Um, so I've got them all in here now, so I'm going to um, see where I can lay the ESCs in, in there. So it's coming together slowly. Right, I've got the speed controllers in. Um, I've also put a the EC down the back there that you can't really see. Um, still got to tidy it all up and make it all presentable, but yeah, it's fitted. Right, it's all finished. Um, as you can see, I've lowered the the top, so it's now just at its bare minimum. Minimum. I'm going to do that because I can. The Fat Shark uh, camera I've actually sunk um, between the bottom and middle plate. Mobius on the top. Now, incidentally, these um, uh, these rubber bobbins or whatever they are, the original ones were, were way too small to actually go in the holes. So I've used some of these, as you saw before, on that um, from that gimbal that I used. Um, oh yeah. Tiger motors, I'm done with them. I'm absolutely done with them. The bearings for me, they don't seem to last very long, even if I don't crash. So I've had to change these out and put some Emax uh, 2204s, I think these are. And they're much quieter.